thank you for joining me on living on the cheap and trying to figure it all out so today we're going to talk about the strange things I do to save money my number one thing that I can think of I probably should say that for last but I'm gonna go with it first why not go big is cloth pads yep me and my daughters we all use cloth reusable cloth pads we have a separate laundry room and so I have a bucket in the utility sink filled with soapy water and when we need to change our pads we just throw it in there and then when it's laundry day we do laundry as we would normally with our towels and things what i love about these pads i bought these about five maybe six years ago now they still look like brand new they probably could use an ironing job but why the other thing i like about them for the foot this is an extra long you just you have what they call a liner which really you just pull off so you would take this out and you still have a full pad underneath they do cost a little bit more in the beginning. I think I paid $80, maybe $180. I can't remember. It was five, six years ago. Um, but I absolutely love them. I've never had them leak. They hold a lot of fluid, which is great with young teenagers who are first getting their periods, and their periods are all, all over the place. The other thing I use is a Diva Cup instead of tampons. Again, it's reusable. I'm going to put a link down below on where I buy this. I buy it from a local company here in Vancouver that I absolutely love, Luna Pads. And... Uh, they, their quality is excellent. In fact, their quality is so good that they're starting to sell their products at London, at the local London Drugs um, individually. You can buy packs, and that's what I did, was I bought packs at um, on their website. And I will link that down below. The other thing I do to save some money is I use dishcloths. Um, I don't use a sponge. The reason I don't use a sponge, even though it has that nice greedy side on one side usually, is it gets stinky in about four or three days it gets stinky you're gonna have to toss it with a dishcloth yeah it gets stinky stick it in your laundry room do some laundry wash it up good as new and you would never know so um again a dishcloth will last years and years whereas a sponge week so that'll save quite a bit of money um just trying to go over my list here that i have revamping leftovers that is a big one i like to when we i make a pot roast usually about once or maybe twice a month and after the third day nobody wants to eat the leftover pot roast so what I do is I usually take it apart and make sloppy joes with it yep you heard me say it, sloppy joes I'll add some tomato sauce make it really messy and gooey and bread done um, so yeah I always try to think of ways to revamp leftovers into something else um, a lot of you Americans had Thanksgiving I will make Thanksgiving um, I call it Thanksgiving soup. It's actually turkey noodle soup. Or I'll make um, tortilla soup with the turkey bits in it instead of chicken. I'm eating my hair. I must be really hungry. Um, oh, I wash clothes only about once a week. That's one thing that I find saves on the energy bills and the cost of soap. And we're not doing half loads. We only do full on loads. My kids do their own laundry since they were nine years old. And I to teach them to separate. I don't think they separate anything. I think one daughter did turn out with uh, gray underwear once, but it still didn't teach her a lesson. But again, they'll have to learn for themselves just like I did when I was young. So better when they're young than when they're 25 and they moved out. So everybody does their own laundry and we usually only do it once a week. The kids, I find, do it less than that because they don't get a, a full load. So they'll do it like once every two weeks. I think one kid might be even doing it once a month. So it just depends. Yeah, I have to tell her her pants are dirty and that's when she'll do the laundry. Probably because she's worn the same pants over and over and over. Um, we use cloth napkins at the table. We do not use paper towels except for cleaning up cat puke. I have three cats and one of them seems to puke a lot. I don't know which one it is. I never see it being done. It's disgusting. But yeah, so we use cloth napkins on the table all the time. I fold them up into fours. They sit in a square container that sits on the middle of the table and it's there all the time. We do not have um, napkins only for special dinners like Thanksgiving and Christmas. I do have another set that's thicker, but I use this set as my everyday. And actually I bought it at a thrift sale. Um, thrift stores will have tons of them. Uh, I find Value Village a little bit expensive, but if you go to your local Sally Ann or Orphan Aid or something like that, you will find really good deals on them. The other thing, if you could find somebody, some local charity that's doing a bazaar, um, up the street from me, there is a Japanese community center. And once a year, they will have a huge bazaar and I will go in there and you'll find napkins, you'll find all kinds of goodies. So it's always worth taking a look. 
So I do the cloth napkins. Um, you ask, how do I wash them? Again, I have a separate bucket in my laundry room in the utility sink with soapy water and that's just for the napkins. So yes, I have two buckets in my uh, laundry room at all times full of soapy water. And I just taught the kids what goes where. Um, when I'm looking for clothing, or mostly clothing, I usually go to a thrift store first. Thrift stores, you will buy a pair of pants for half the price or even less. Sometimes you get really lucky. You need to look around at your local thrift stores. If you've never gone thrift shopping before, I say go to a few before you settle on one. Uh, it took me a few years to find a really good one. I know there's two in my area that are excellent. I love them a lot. They get really good stuff. But again, it's a hit and miss. It depends what's been donated that month. Value Village is okay, but I'm finding their prices are getting higher and higher every time I go in there. It's costing me $30 for a pair of jeans. I can buy $30 at Costco for a brand new pair of jeans. So I don't usually go to Value Village for jeans. So really know your pricing at the thrift store, Value Village, and brand new so that you can see what the value is that you're getting. Um, just because somebody else wore those jeans doesn't mean they're bad. They may have outgrown it. Maybe the style wasn't good for them. Maybe they decided after buying it that the style wasn't right for their body. Who knows? And so those are my tips on how I save money every day. Let me know what you think. I'll put the links down below for Luna Pads and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.